Hi, I'm Mike from Poketips, and you can play the original Pokemon games Red and Blue on a lot of different things. Game Boy, 3DS, computer, phone, you name it, it can probably play Pokemon, but today, we're gonna ask the most important question of them all. Can you play Pokemon on your calculator? Now, if you're like me, you probably have one of these, a super expensive, fancy graphing calculator that your school made you buy for math class. Now, I haven't really used this calculator in a long time. <sighs> but today, I'm gonna try to breathe some new life into this calculator by hacking it to play Pokemon. We're gonna see if this actually works well or if this is just a silly idea that you should never try. And the best part is, if you're as crazy as me and for some reason you wanna play Pokemon on your calculator, I'll be teaching you how to do it too. Now, the first and most important thing that I'm going to need to play Pokemon on my calculator is a way to plug it into my computer. So if you have the same calculator that I have, the TI-84 Plus CE, and what a fancy name that is, but if you have the same calculator that I have, you'll see right below my big nose over here, there should be a mini USB port. If you have a cable, you can plug it into your computer and add stuff to the calculator that way. And that's what we're gonna need to play Pokemon. However, the only problem is I don't have that cable. Now the closest place for me to get a mini USB cable is about 30 minutes away from me, so this is gonna be a little fun drive. Alright, so we're back and we got the cord. It was only like 10 bucks, so it wasn't really that bad. However, the bad part is if you want to play Pokemon on your calculator, for the TI series anyway, you could only do it on the TI-84 Plus CE. Now, for some reason, and don't ask why, I have a TI-83 and a regular TI-83 Plus, and then the CE over here as well, and the only one that lets me play Pokemon is this one, because the other two don't have enough memory to actually hold a Pokemon game. If you want to play other Game Boy games on the other two, as long as they're small enough, they should fit on there just fine, but I guess Pokemon is a gigantic game, so it's only gonna work on this one. So once you have your calculator and your cord, you're gonna need a few things to play Pokemon on your calculator. First, you need the ROM for Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow. Unfortunately, this doesn't work with other Pokemon games, but hey, we're trying to play Pokemon on a calculator here, can't get too fancy. Next, you'll need the program TI Connect CE. And finally, you'll need the emulator TI Boy CE. The TI programs I'll be linking in the description, and the ROM you'll have to find for yourself. Next, you want to extract the TI Boy CE zip file, and you'll get lots of files once you're done. Then, take your Pokemon ROM and drag and drop it onto the TI Boy CE ROM gen. From there, a little command prop window is going to pop up and ask you to name your game. So just name it whatever game you're going to be playing. Then after that, it's going to ask you what calculator you want to play it on. Since I'm using the TI-84 Plus CE, I'm going to hit number 3 and then hit enter again. And then finally, it'll ask you to name the file. I just named mine Pokey. Now once you've done that, open up the program TI Connect CE. If your calculator is plugged in, it should show up on this program, and then just go to the option where it says Calculator Explorer. And now, finally, we're just going to drag and drop a few things onto the calculator. You want to drag and drop the programs TI Boy Dat, TI Boy Skin, TI Boy CE, and last but not least, the Pokemon ROM we just converted. If you did all that right, you should be good to go. And now that we have the files all set up on the calculator, let's finally start playing some Pokemon. So, go and hit the program button on your calculator to bring up the menu here. You'll see the option TI Boy CE, hit enter, hit enter again, then select your game. We're playing Pokemon Red, so we're gonna go ahead and select that, and whoa, 95, 96, 98 Nintendo, look at that. Game Freak, we're seeing everything. This is absolutely insane. If I had this back in math class, I don't think I would ever get any work done. But yeah, there's Gengar, there's Nidoran, they're fighting each other, Nidorino, and Pokemon Red version in all of its glory. I'm actually very surprised to see this game in color. Now, the controls on your uh, calculator, second is going to be your A button, alpha is going to be your B button, this right here is going to be select, and mode is going to be start. If you want to change any of that, or just do a lot of fancy stuff in general, hit the clear button and you'll see the emulator settings. I think there's a save state system, I haven't really messed around with that that much. 
much. There's graphics options, control options, emulation options, lots and lots of crazy stuff that we're not going to mess around with. And the coolest thing is you could just hit the on button down at the bottom of the calculator and BAM! You're right back on the normal calculator screen and you can start doing some math problems again. So let's test it out with some advanced math problems like 3 times 3, what's that calculator? 9, thank you very much. And you can see, it still works just like a normal calculator, except now we can play Pokemon too. I don't think, as far as I know, there's a quick way to relaunch the thing. Again, I just got this whole emulator, so I'm not too familiar with it, but I just think it's fascinating that we could actually play Pokemon on our calculator. And I do want to test it out a little bit and see how the gameplay is. That's definitely Professor Oak. Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof! And once we get in-game, it's actually very surprising to me how well the game actually controls. I know Pokemon isn't the most demanding game, but it really isn't that hard to just play around with it. It feels very natural walking around the Kanto region. All the buttons do exactly what I want them to do, and there's no lag or anything. This game pretty much plays perfectly. And as far as I know, there's no way to get sound out of this, but come on, it's a calculator. Are you expecting your calculator to start playing music for you? I don't think so. But honestly, I just find this whole thing amazing. It blows my mind that we're able to play Pokemon on a calculator. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go pick Bulbasaur because I feel like Bulbasaur doesn't really get too much love. Everybody likes Charmander and Squirtle a lot better, and I'm gonna go look like a nerd playing Pokemon on my calculator. 